Hey guys, my name is KL. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to get other people's credential using a fake web page. I'm going to use SET to create the fake web page. So, what is SET? SET stands for Social Engineer Toolkits. In these toolkits, um, there are a lot of attack methods for us to use to launch social engineering attack. The attack methods that I'm going to use is web attack method. So, let's start. Guys, like what I've mentioned just now, I'm going to create a fake website using uh, Social Engineer Toolkits. Now I'm running Kali Linux on my virtual machine. Uh, basically, set is already built in in Kali Linux, so we don't have to install anything extra. Okay, now we are going to run terminal and key in the command to run the toolkits. So the command will be se toolkit. Basically, uh, for whom that don't know what is the terminal, terminal is basically like a command prompt in Kali Linux. Okay, now this you can see that the set the two kits is uh, the interface like this, and then there's a few option of it. We are going to straight away launch an attack, so we are going to choose social engineer attacks, which is number one. Okay, from here you can see there's different type of attack vectors. The attack vectors we are going to use is website attack vectors. If you have time, you can go and explore another type of attack vectors by yourself. The next thing you saw is different type of attack methods. The one we are going to use is credential mm -hmm. harvester attack methods, which is number three. Okay, now we are going to create a fake website. So we are going to, you can choose any of it, but what we are going to do is the site cloner. Okay, from here you request, uh, require you to insert your own IP address. In Kali Linux, um, how are you going to uh, um, get your own IP address? You just open another terminal and the command will be ifconfig. From here, you can get your IP address. All you need to do is just copy it and then paste it here. The next thing that required is the site URL that you are going to clone. For, uh, in this example, we are going to use Facebook.com. So it's HTTP. Okay, enter. Once you click enter, they are starting to clone the website, and then the first step is done. You please take note that you don't, you can't close this thing because uh, when they get the credential, everything is, everything will be displayed here. Okay, now what you need to do is to um, change your IP address, hide it or shorten it, and send the and uh, send the how Patrick. Okay, this one I I think here can what already. Anyway, this one can already this part. Okay, now coming to second phase, you are going to shorten your URL or modify URL using, you can use any type of um, URL shortener or any kind of software to change your URL. Okay, now I'm going to use this website to change my IP address. Um, from here, you can choose any of it, but I'm, I'm going to choose this. Okay, now you get the link. Uh, now you just need to send this send this link to anyone, and then when they click on the link, they will go. They will lead them to the fake website that we created just now. Okay. Uh, please take, uh, please also uh, take note that you can't close this thing as when the victims insert their credential, uh, everything is will be displayed here. Okay, next you need to now you can send the link to the victims by any kind of ways. Uh, you can send it through Facebook or email and just add in some attractive word so that they will click on it. Okay, now I'm going to show you what will happen uh, on the victim side. 
now I'm running a uh, Windows XP on my another virtual machine. Okay, so this is, I'm going to run Firefox and then paste the link here. So when they basically when they click the link, they will straight away direct them to the fake website uh, web page that you created just now. Okay. From here, basically, if you have, if you notice that your IP address will be shown at the top of the link here. So basically, this will, this trick will only works on those who have less awareness or less IT knowledge base. Okay, so from here, I'm going to just test at email.com and the password will be now you see me. And then when they press login, um, they won't di really direct them to. They won't really log in. In fact, they will redirect them to the actual Facebook page. From here, you can see that. Okay, now what will happen? You just open back your Kali Linux from the uh, terminal just now. You can see from here. You can get their email and their password okay so if you wanted to stop you just need to press ctrl c to, to terminate it okay that's all from my side um what you need to take note of is this thing because the se the set tool in here is a old version so it will only works on windows 7 and os uh, below that Okay, uh, and the um, victims must, must be under the same network also. Okay, that's all from my side. Thank you very much. Yes.